We're going to talk about some short passing in congested areas. So point number one, and this is with most of these topics, is doing the skill really, really well in isolation. So being able to technically pass the ball uh, in every different way. Point number two is all about how fast you do it. Uh, when you get higher up the levels in hockey, it's all about your speed of thought and just doing it, doing the skill a lot quicker and deciding which skill to do and who to pass to quicker. Uh, the way you can help with that is almost to know what you're going to do a step before everyone else. So before you get the ball, know where you're going to pass it. And before you get the ball, know which space you want to carry into, things like that. A few technical points for being under pressure and doing some short passes in those congested areas is trying to expose people's left feet. Uh, that's where defenders are most, uh, most weak. Uh, so that's where you can sort of expose their weakness and it's also on your strong side. I'd also say keep your stick on the ball at all times because that will prevent someone coming and tackling you because you can always move the ball when your stick's on the ball. It also means that you can pass quicker because you don't need to put your stick onto the ball before doing your skill. The last point and the fourth point is mainly for those off the ball and they have to be ready for it. I see a lot of in, in younger hockey uh, players wanting the ball and calling for the ball with their sticks up here next to, their, next to their waist. They're not ready for it. You need to be at least have your stick on the floor so if the ball flies at you, you can stop it. And also ready in a nice low body position, especially in short congested areas. Uh, you need to be nice and low, ready for the ball that if it flies at you, you're ready to react down low.